Tada! <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry. Today we are looking at entropy, okay? Like in the last class, we had a very good time explaining the first and second law of thermodynamics, okay? Of course, this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jump app, okay? Before we do entropy, let's just see a question from the app right now, okay? Like the app has told you is all you need to succeed in your exam, okay? It has the past questions, all the past questions for all subjects are on the, uh, for all subjects are on the application, okay? So this is a question on entropy uh, that has come out. It's a... 1995 question number 29. They said, which of the following processes is being displayed on your screen right now? Which of the following processes in, uh, leads to increase in entropy? Okay. You can see A, they say mixing a sample of NaCl and sand. B, condensation of water vapor. C, boiling a sample of water. D, cooling a saturated solution. Okay. We have so many other questions we are going to see at the end of this class. Okay. I have like... There are so many, in fact, every year I think Jam sets a question on, on entropy. So please make sure you watch. You have this kind of app where you can search for questions according to topic. So if you go to question search feature on, the, in, on this app now, you click on question search, uh, click on chemistry, type entropy. Okay? You, all the questions that Jam has said, that's entropy inside will come out. So it makes it easier for you to be able to what to read. Okay? So download the app. It has all the past question. There's a classroom feature where you can study lecture notes also. Then there's the UTM challenge. It's a mock challenge that will conduct every Saturday. So if I do mock outside, you are paying one one thousand naira every one you do. So in this one, you have you pay three thousand naira once for the full app. As at the time of talking to you now, it's three thousand, but it will increase. So it will definitely increase in the future before you go and put me in trouble. Okay, so uh, as as I'm speaking to you, it's three thousand naira now. You can what download the app and what and quickly what and quickly activate. I don't know when you'll be watching this video, whether it's in 20, 20, 30, or 2034. Okay, so please make sure that what you download the app, activate it, and what start to studying your way to what to success. Okay, so the mock challenge that you participate in every Saturday by 10 a.m. will build your confidence toward the exam because we have we have been crushing what uh, uh, past questions, we have crushing what questions, jam questions. So you know how what how jam how jam set that question. Okay, you are seeing your score every week too. So you are you are prepared, you are prepared to what to do more. We'll come back to this app. Let's first of all talk about what entropy. And in the last class, we are through a hint about entropy. We say well, entropy is the degree of what jagger jaggerness, the degree of scatter scatterness, the degree of battle batteredness of what of a system. Okay, so that's why we say entropy. Entropy is the degree of disorderliness. Disorderly. Disorder. Disorderliness or randomness of a system. Okay, so it, it entropy talks about how what disorder the system is. Okay, you go to a place where everything is just scattered. Okay, you can say you can use the word that this this place is in entropy. Yes, use it. Okay, use words so that I can better understand them. So you can so that for you to easily remember. So a place that is scattered, it's in what is the a place that is in disarray. Okay, if you go to the market now, marketplace where everybody does everything, nothing is dis, nothing is ordered in the market. So you can say that state, that market is in a state of entropy. People are just waka waka in about. People are just jamming jamming themselves. People are wheelbarrow is pushing pushing themselves and so on and so forth. That kind of system is called a disorder system. Okay, a disorder system, and that is what you can say. What entropy? That's what it's in a state of entropy. Okay, so now so I say entropy is the degree of jagger jaggerness, of disorderliness, okay, of scatter scatteredness, okay, of what, of randomness of a system. How scatter? It describes how scattered a system is, how disordered a system is, how random it is. Okay, so now the entropy for a perfectly ordered system. The entropy for a perfectly ordered system. So if a system is perfect, perfectly ordered. Let's say for, for some of you that like cleaning your room and arranging things where they're supposed to be. Okay, once you clean it now, bang, okay, the entropy of that room will be what? It cannot be less than zero. It will be, to be to be zero. So say the entropy for a perfectly ordered system, the entropy for a perfectly, so if I'm taking note, please, you can take order system at zero Kelvin is what is zero. It cannot be cannot be less than zero. Okay, even in the last class, I think we were true what it is. See for an ideal system, system that is perfectly ordered, the entropy cannot be what less than zero. The most, the worst that happens is that what the entropy is what is zero. So a system that is ordered, 
okay a perfectly ordered system has an entropy of zero i think this is in the past question also okay so you see the way i'm saying i, I think this is in the past question before because i have what i don't chew past questions i don't chew them you don't get where you don't get where they won't find me go where i never chew one carry your past question like this pack it study it study it not cram oh study it so that you understand you must understand what they are saying Okay, so you can you can easily what fake questions because if, if you do not understand, Jam want to confuse you. That's the answer. They want to confuse you so that you go fail the question. But if you understand what you are doing, you cannot what fail that question. So true questions, true questions. Download that auto school Jam app immediately now. Download it now. So looking at me. Okay, okay, and activate it too. All right. So now. The entropy for a perfectly ordered system as zero Kelvin is what is zero. Okay, now. It is good to know that what entropy is highest in what in gases. Entropy. Entropy is what is highest in what in gases. Okay, where the molecules are free to what to move about. Okay, you see in, in gases they are what the particles are always what colliding with each other and with the walls of the container. Okay, the randomness is very high. Okay, that's why I say entropy is highest in what in gases. Okay, and then entropy is lowest in what in solids. In solids, where there is what where there is ordered arrangement. Where there's what ordered what arrangement. So like a block, a piece of block. Okay, you no know that block that the mode now for building house. If they place it on the ground, wait, wait till one push on. So you see that what it's because the particles of what that block, eh, that that makes other block are what that are what perfectly what arranged and what in the ordered what system. So that is why the entropy what is least in solids, but it is what of course highest in what in gases. Okay, and of course a reaction, a reaction that involves a change, a reaction that involves a change from what from liquid to what to gas. A reaction that involves a change. A reaction that involves a change from liquid to gas to gas will be accompanied. Accompanied by a positive entropy change okay so now a reaction that involves a change from liquid to gas will be accompanied by a positive entropy change for example when you boil water okay when you boil water water when you carry your water in, the, in your kettle i don't know how to draw a kettle very well okay let's say this is your kettle okay with the handle then you boil your water you put your water inside the kettle initially you see that what the particles uh, the particles that, or, or that liquid that, or that settled okay they will be settled but when you apply it to it at the point you'll be seeing them bouncing crack, 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 crack. you'll be seeing steam coming out from what from the nozzle of what of the kettle you'll be seeing the particles the world the world will be in random okay they'll be in disorderly manner okay so I say that a reaction that involves a change from, for example, from the liquid state to a gaseous state will be accompanied by what? By a positive entropy change. Okay, that the, the word increase in what? In entropy. There will be increase in what? In entropy. All right? I hope that is very, very, very clear. All right, so now we'll say that a reaction that involves a change from liquid to gas will be accompanied by what? By a positive entropy change or increase in entropy. Okay? Now, generally, it is good also to know that what that entropy increases with what it with increase in temperature, just like I've said here. Okay, like water at what zero degrees Celsius, then you boil to what hundred degrees Celsius. You see that what entropy what will increase. Okay, as you start to water, as you start to boil that water. So that's why I said that what that entropy what increases with increase in temperature because the molecules of that compound. Okay, we what we acquire more kinetic energy. Okay, as they acquire more kinetic energy, they will work colliding with each other and with the walls of the container, they will move faster. Okay, and their distance apart, the, the distance between what the molecules will, will be what will be will increase. Okay, so that is why we are saying that what that 
Generally, the entropy of a compound what will increase with what with increase in what in temperature. Okay, the molecules of a compound what will the, the temperature, the entropy. Okay, of the molecules of a compound with in, will increase as you begin to what to add temperature, you to increase what temperature. All right. So please take note of that. Now, for a reversible reaction occurring at constant temperature, and put that that put that down for. A reversible reaction occurring at constant temperature, comma, the change in entropy, the change in entropy, that is delta S now, okay, will be obtained, will be or can be obtained, okay, by dividing by dividing the enthalpy change, the enthalpy change by the constant temperature, by the constant temperature, okay? By the constant temperature. We said for, for a reversible reaction occurring at constant temperature, the change in entropy delta S will be accompanied by dividing what the enthalpy change by the constant or temperature. Please, if I'm not liking the video, what I'm doing is very wrong. I'll be verse. I'll be verse. I don't see why you will watch this video. You know, go like him. As you are, as you are watching it now, now we're taking a break. <laughs> okay, now we're taking a break. Just click on that like button. That thing that looks like this. Okay, just click on it. Okay, then subscribe. Subscription is free to this channel. Okay, it's just for you to gain notification whenever we release a new video. So click on that red subscribe button. If you have subscribed before, don't press it to you may not have problem. So please just what like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you share this video to someone. All right, please share this video to someone. This is very, very important. So we are saying for a reversible reaction, for a reversible reaction occurring at constant temperature, the change in entropy delta S will be obtained by dividing the enthalpy change by the constant temperature. That is delta S mathematically now delta S equals to what delta H over what over the constant temperature. Okay, so this is a formula that is very what very what useful. All right. Okay, so now having known this, it's important to know that for for exothermic what processes, we know that all that for exothermic processes, when we did enthalpy, okay, that is the second episode in chemical energetics, we say what that what enthalpy that is delta H. Okay, delta H is what is positive for what for endothermic processes bar okay we say when delta h is positive or let me bring this up so that we don't know manage space all right let me bring this up okay please like this video subscribe and share download the o2 school jam app start practicing immediately okay we have said that what that delta h is what is positive we say is what for an endothermic what process that means here heat it is what is absorbed. Okay, it is absorbed. Okay, so likewise, okay, since delta H what is positive for what for an endothermic what process, then of course delta S will also be what be what be positive for endothermic process. Please take note of that. Delta H is positive for endothermic process, and also delta S is positive. For endothermic process, no doubt, oh, please. Then, likewise, uh, delta H is what is negative for what? For exothermic what process? Yeah, heat is liberated. All right. So, of course, it means that what that delta S also is what is negative for exothermic process. All right. So, please take note of what. Of all these, they are very, very well relevant. Okay, we are going to see questions from them. Because of time, let's quickly go to the other school jump up and take some questions, and we are done with this class so that we don't uh, take too much time. All right, so this is a 1995 question number 29, like I've said before. You say which of the following processes leads to increase in entropy? Leads to increase in entropy. A, they say missing a sample of sodium chloride and sand. Hmm? Pff, rubbish. B, condensation of water vapor. Condensation of water vapor, condensing of water vapor, all right? So, entropy will decreases, all right? 
Now, see, they say boiling example of water, which, are, which was the example what we use. We are boiling, we are changing what the, the temperature of the reaction from what from zero to what to a higher water temperature. When you are boiling, we are increasing entropy. There's it, 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 it will be accompanied by a positive entropy change. So, D, they say cooling, cooling cannot what increase entropy. So, the correct answer there is what is option C. See how simple it is. Now, let's go to another question. This is a 2023 question number 22. 2023 question number 22. They say, which of the following reactions would be expected to have the highest entropy change? The highest entropy change. A, they say from solid to liquid. In fact, changing from what? From solid to liquid. That cannot lead to what? Lead to what? Entropy will change. Uh, uh, give, that cannot actually give us what? Uh, the highest what? Entropy change. Okay? B, they say liquid to gas. Liquid to gas. Liquid to gas. Just like boiling water. Right from liquid to what to gaseous or state, okay. So, all that thought C they say gas to liquid, D they say gas to solid, and call the correct answer there will be from liquid or to gas. Okay, we made what an example of it there also. So, let's go to another question. It's a 2003 number 29 question. It says, When a sugar is dissolved in tea, it's most of them that will make the ash sugar, but that will be milo the ash sugar, you see, carry sugar and put inside again. Some of you. Your problem is too much. Okay, they say when the sugar is dissolved, those of you that drink tea very well, when the sugar is dissolved in tea, the reaction is always accompanied by A, they say positive entropy change. Okay, B, they say negative entropy change. C, they say no entropy change. D, they say a minimum entropy change. Okay, they will be accompanied by what? By a positive entropy change because the, the sugar, okay, when you put it inside the water, inside the tea, it will melt it, right? The particles will what? Will separate. It will become more random, okay? So it will lead to a positive what entropy will change. Please take note of that. Uh, okay, all right. So that is uh, that is where we are going to what we are going to what stop in this what particular what class. All right, we will see in the next what episode. Thank you for watching.